My name is Maria Alejandra Troya. Today I'm going to talk about lipidemia. I hope you enjoy it. Lipidemia is characterized as a scientific term for the presence of excessive lipids and lipoproteins in the blood of a person. There are some synonyms as hyperlipidemia, lipidemia, and lipidemia. Lipids are transported in a protein capsule. These fats are responsible for causing high blood pressure. Cardiovascular complications can take place as a result of the presence of these lipids. Hyperlipidemias are divided into primary and secondary subtypes. Primary, primary hyperlipidemia is usually due to genetic, genetic causes such as mutation in a receptor protein, while secondary hyperlipidemia arises due to other underlying causes such as diabetes. Hyperlipidemias are also classified according to which types of lipids are elevated. That is, hypercholesterolemia, hypertriglyceridemia, or both in combined hyperlipidemia. Elevated levels of lipoprotein may also be classified as a form of hyperlipidemia. Now I pause a video. I, I think you will enjoy watching this because it's a animation of, of how hyperlipidemias uh, affect our bodies. Now I pass a video. I I think you will enjoy. Cholesterol is a type of. Lipid, an essential element contained in all human cells. However, excess lipids and other fatty substances in the blood can cause hyperlipidemia and other lipid disorders. Hyperlipidemia is a significant risk factor for development of atherosclerosis and heart disease. The cardiovascular system comprises the heart, blood vessels, and blood. blood white blood cells, platelets, and nutrients. Cholesterol also circulates in the bloodstream. Two common forms of cholesterol are LDL, known as the bad cholesterol, and HDL, known as the good cholesterol. Of cholesterol every day, but sometimes that seems to get out of work either through genetics or diet. Higher levels. Our bodies make and use certain amount Lipidemia can be reduced by Lipidemia can be reduced by Lipid levels can speed up a process called arteriosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Arteriosclerosis can increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, and other vascular disease. Lipidemia can be reduced by limiting your intake of red meat and dairy products made with whole meat to reduce your saturated and trans fat. A diet high in fiber can help lower cholesterol levels by as much as 10%. Lose a stroke weight. A weight loss of 10% can go a long way to lowering your risk of or reversing hyperlipidemia. The main state of treatment for hyperlipidemia is a dietary and lifestyle modification followed by drug therapy as necessary.